hi there. I'm Tom Portismer, Talks in Transit, uh, a series of videos done in my car. Um, and today I was really struck um, at my wife, she's pregnant. Uh, my child's about seven weeks from being born. And I just found myself, and I've thought of this before, I've, I've been playing with this theory for some time. But last night I really contemplated it as I could feel my son moving. Um, in Anna's abdomen, you know, I could, I could, I could feel him, and I, could, I was speaking to him, and I was sending love to him. I mean, it felt almost like he was high-fiving at times. And I, it, you know, it's I've I've had a daughter already, and um, I don't know. I never got over how surreal it is. It should feel natural, but it's crazy to think of a human in an abdomen, and um, for me, and the fact that we, you know, that's we've all had that. And what I think is interesting is, is this, this, this idea of heaven, right? And, and we project it, this is related, and we project it to some place above our known universe. Um, people kind of think of heaven as being in the sky, but not in the sky, but above the sky, beyond the sky, but we know there's space beyond that, so it's not a physical place. But it's this general feeling, and what are the things that people relate to? What are the kind of artistic cliches associated that? Whether the God is um, a, a wise and loving being, or sometimes cruel, but um, generally he's got a booming voice, and sits somewhere above. And it just really struck me that this is not this isn't about imagination. Whether you believe in a collective unconsciousness or a higher field or the divine intelligence or like for me I'm a pantheist, I believe all things are an expression of consciousness that we're all part of. I don't see a separate being. But I notice when I'm having a difficult time, I might kind of, even when I was a completely dedicated, devoted atheist, I would in times of great stress kind of look up to the sky and use, you know, God-based expletives. Um, and when really in trouble would seek for help and I looked above um, and it strikes me I'm pretty sure that this is not based on some imaginary friend this is a historical memory of what it was like when we were in our mother's abdomen imagine that we're in the womb and yet that we that our universe is the womb and yet beyond that we have a sense of this these larger beings they you know at there's love coming our way and there is this incredibly bassy booming kind of voice I mean I think this is the God projection I think it's our actual lived experience that there are loving beings above us above our world with deep voices that are caring for us that we're trying to reach um, and I think that turns into a projection of this kind of imaginary friend God that a lot of people work with um, or the idea of which and I think that's I think that's beautiful I think that kind of explains it for me and um, and for me there is a benevolent loving force in the world and it's your unconscious you might call it your soul or your heart but it pro it's processing million bits of information just to watch this video whereas our conscious mind can barely hang on to five ideas at any one moment and so this this intelligence is in operation but I don't think we need to project it any more above the sky limit. I think it's just recognizing that there is a, a movement within us towards greater confidence. There is a movement within us towards evolution, to being beyond fear. And if we're paying attention, then we can learn a huge amount. Um, but it is a, ma a matter of paying attention and dropping these kind of anthropomorphized projections of some separate divine being. We are connected to an incredible seat of intelligence. We are that intelligence, but having some practice of transcending our limited idea of our personality. The personality is small, limited, fearful. And it's about transcending to our greater, powerful, universality which sits at the core of our unconscious there we feel connected to all things and there we have a deeper understanding of how things work who we really are and what will help us have a better life and that's kind of what it's all about so thank you for your time today